This is a class for same six program GE2 and the part that we are to touch today is the drama paper and from here to read the drama Justice of John Galsworthy. We have already read it in our classes. We have already discussed its themes, the story, as well as the characters like Falder, Ruth Honeywell, James Howe, Walter Howe, Coxon, and even Wister, and their importances or necessities in structuring the, 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 the main theme of the drama as well as revealing the real purpose of the dramatist. As we have already read it in our classes, we are well aware that what we are actually to do in reading justice, in which way we are to read, we have already discussed it. But as right now we are in online teaching mode, we are to discuss some of the relevant subjects or relevant informations related to this particular drama. We have already uploaded rel related materials on our college website where it's available right now. So right today, we are to start here with some informations related to Justice of Galsworthy. Through his play, Justice, Galsworthy wants to focus on the faults of contemporary legal system, especially the prison, administrative, and all these are portrayed through the character Folder. Here in Galsworthy's play, the title has been taken as an irony. So uh, we can say that the title Justice is ironical. Ironical in the sense, this ironical mode is implied within the character Folder, the tragic protagonist who is caught as a prisoner instead of considering the real reason being forced into committing such error, rather error, it can be said as an error, the tragic flaw, human error that we have already discussed in our classes and put him into prison. In Galsworthy's justice, the judge poses his view that law is not a work of men. It can rather be considered as a liberate one, free from the bondage of restriction. It is self-dependent and majestic one. There is an important section in justice and throughout our classes, we have already focused on it. And that was the dumb scene. All right, today, that is the dumb scene that we are to focus here. Sometimes silence proves itself to be a more useful device than utterance of speech. And there is also evident in the dumb scene of the play that is useful as well as a fantastic one in portraying the mental condition of Folder. The scene is presented with wonderful psychological imagination and insight of the dramatist, proving that the silence of Folder is more eloquent than speech. Now in one section, we have gone through the uh, line, the line that is in my text rather, as the line is saying, the rolling of the chariot wheels of justice over the body began when it was destined to persecute him. Actually, this is a line said by the defense counsel 
who was Mr. Frome, and he utters this word in order to mean the realistic fact that justice can be considered as a machine, and uh, once a man is crushed in its rolling wheels, he can never find any way uh, of getting out. Here, Falder, in some way, is crossed in the will of this justice, illustrating the implicit meaning of it. Now, if we are to discuss on the matter that what was the crime committed by Falder, or what punishment was he given for it? As Falder forged a bank check issued to be cast by the office where he worked and the bank check that he forged was of 9 pounds to 90. He was given to cast it 9 pounds but he done it 90. For committing this crime, Falder was sentenced by the court for 3 years imprisonment. There is a section when uh, the comment is coming out that mark the difference or the comment is to come out or the discussion is to be made that if we are to mark a difference between Walter Howe and James Howe, how can we do that? Walter Howe, the junior partner and the son of James Howe, is con conceived as a foil to his father. James Howe treats law as a straight and elevated institution. On the other hand, Walter Howe takes a more human and sympathetic view and pleads with his father for his mercy, as is evident in the case of Falder's forgery in their own office. One important line is in the text, as I am selecting it from my text, a gavel bird in the office. Who says it? Who makes the comment? James Howe makes the comment to Kapsun. At the time when he sees Falder coming back to their office after two years' imprisonment, note it that this is not said for Coxon. The line is said to Coxon for Falder, who is coming out of jail after two years' imprisonment. And why he was sent to jail? He was sent to jail because of committing crime. And what was the crime? The crime was forgery, quote unquote. The phrase gavel bird means prisoner. As Falder is coming out from jail after two years' imprisonment, for that reason he is called a gavel bird, rather a prisoner. Then one line is there, I am not what I was. Who said it? In what connection? Here Falder says it to James Howe his boss, when he comes back to the latter's office after two years' imprisonment, Falder is desperate in confirming the fact that after his punishment, he has become a changed person. He is trying somehow to confirm the fact that right now he is a changed one, as he was there where at the time when he was to go to jail for, for Zari. But after coming back from that place, after two years' imprisonment, right now he is a different person. Then there is one important line that we are to get. The best way you can take care of him will be to give him up. Who says it? The comment is made by James Howe to Ruth Honeywell. The person, the lady, who was the reason behind Forge Falder's crime. And right now, James Howe saying this line, 
to Ruth Honeywell as he is to suggest Ruth in leaving Falder from any kind of contact, the step that she can take in doing the best for Falder's new life. New life means after coming out of two years' imprisonment. But was it actually happened in case of Falder? Or was it actually be effective as James Sow said it to Ruth Honeywell that not to meet him is the best way to, to save him? No, it did not happen. As we come to the line of the text, where James Howe is saying to Falder that it was the cause of all your disaster. And the place where James Howe steadily saying to Ruth, that now Mrs. Honey, will you were fond of him? What does Ruth reply? Ruth replies, Yes, sir, I love him. She looks miserably at Falder at the time when she is making this comment. Then James Howe is making the comment, then you don't want to stand in his way, do you? Ruth, in a faint voice, I could take care of him. Then James Howe is making the very comment that we have already discussed. The best way you can take care of him will be to leave him. But it actually not occurred. As in course of time, we can see that Falder is to commit or is to accept his untimely death at the time when Wister comes to arrest him on the issue that he was unable in reporting to the to the administrative persons on time as wister is saying to james or wister is informing to james and walter howe that he is failed to report himself lately who is he here falder Then Walter Howe is making the comment, let him go this time, for God's sake. So he is here pleading for Falder to give him an opportunity to go, he, to, 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 to let him go. But Wister say, I could not take the responsibility, sir, because uh, he, he, he is a mere servant of, of law. And he, he, he says that he can't take the responsibility. And what is the result then? Folder is somehow try to uh, go away from that place and uh, accept his death. As Wister makes the comment, he jumped, neck is broken. For that reason, it can be said that it's indeed a tragedy. And at the very fact end of the drama, Coxun makes a comment which is very important one that no one will touch him now, never again. He is safe with gentle Jesus. Thank you. Firstly, because of uh, the reason that uh, you are reading from home, you are staying at home, and we are here taking classes from home. 
there is a communication gap between you the students and we the so called teachers i am also a student to some extent but the fact is that we are to be attentive 